our last herb is horsetail. Equicetum arvens, another great spring tonic. You actually gotta be a little bit careful with horsetail not to harvest it too late. So the way I was taught when I was at Bastyr, as I said, you know, the horsetail grows up and it's kind of this very phallus shaped, you know, almost asparagus looking thing. And then those little frond like leaves unfurled down from the top. Now it said, you don't want to harvest horsetail once those go past 45 degrees because they can concentrate minerals so much it can cause problems, right? Um, you know, it can get, agitate the kidneys, um, so you want to get young horsetail. Very rich in mag manganese, potassium, minerals, salicylic acid. Salicylic acid is the big one. It's interesting how many of these remedies are diuretic. So you got dandelion leaf, diuretic, nettle leaf, diuretic, horsetail, diuretic. Um, so again, this herb is great for clearing dampness, flushing the urinary tract urinary tract infection. All these herbs can be used to flush the urinary tract. I like horsetail here because it's a little bit astringent. So it can be used for hematuria in cases of say a kidney stone or uh, cystitis. That would be hematuria would be a slight amount of uh, bleeding uh, in the blood in the urine. Nettles be that way too. It's a bit astringent as well. Um, interestingly enough, this herb is also used for hemoptysis or coughing up blood, which is, you know, when I learned that, I was like, huh, that's really interesting. So we don't think of horsetail so much as a respiratory remedy, but uh, it is, uh, it controls bleeding. And I think that's because of its astringency, a tonic astringent. So here we have another nutritive tonic that is also astringent tonic. Um, very high in silicic acid or silica. Now, this nutrient is a cofactor for calcium metabolism. So if you are deficient in silica, your body can't use the calcium that it has to build bone, teeth, structural tissue, etc., hair, skin, nails, all those things require silica. Uh, that's why you can even see there's like the Biosil supplement, which is a silica supplement that you know, is really promoted for hair, skin, and nails stuff. Um, and that's how it's doing that. So, but it's not just the silica, right? There's other minerals, there's other cofactors, there's other flavonoids present in um, horsetail that really make it able to do these things. So, 